Welcome to this screen demo where we want to show how easy it is for a user to request IT infrastructure resources for a given IT project using the self-service portal of ServerView Resource Orchestrator Cloud Edition. This is the homepage of the self-service portal. The service we want to request here is a multi-server configuration to set up an ERP environment. In order to define the required IT infrastructure, we need to create a logical platform, L platform, which describes the configuration on a logical level. Now let's start the subscription process for an L platform. This screen gives an overview about all steps of the subscription process. After clicking the Create a new L platform button, we enter the first step where we have to select an L platform template. Here Resource Orchestrator Cloud Edition presents a list of already pre-configured templates. Clicking on a template name shows the default configuration. We select the template that best matches our requirements and get to the next step where we give our template a unique name. Moving forward we reach a state where we can check our L platform configuration. This template consists of four network segments, one for admin access and three for production traffic for the web application and database services. The frame on the bottom shows further details about the servers used in each network segment. We have one physical server for running the database, one virtual server based on VMware for the application server and one virtual server based on Microsoft Hyper-V running the web service. If the default configuration fits your needs, you just can proceed by clicking the next button. If it doesn't, you are now able to customize it. In this case, we decided to first extend the storage configuration of the admin server by adding two further disks. We can easily achieve this by just dragging and dropping new disks from the additional options area to the admin server. Second, we want to add two servers to the web server farm because we expect a workload increase. In the server folder of the additional options area, we select the list of servers which are available for web services. Again, this is just a drag and drop operation from the list of servers to the network segment used for the web service. In the next step, we can make a final review before confirming the configuration. As the final step to complete the subscription process, we have to accept the license agreement. Clicking the Create button forwards the service request to the IT administration. Upon approval from the IT administration, an automated provisioning process starts and the service is released to the user. During operation, ServerView Resource Orchestrator Cloud Edition provides various options to get information about the IT infrastructure in use. From the self-service portal, the IT administration can launch a dashboard giving them an overview about the state of resource allocation in the various resource pools. Another graph presents users with specific information about critical performance parameters of running servers. ServerView Resource Orchestrator Cloud Edition is the right management tool for all IT organizations that need to accelerate the provisioning of IT services. The integrated cloud service management provides easy creation, provisioning and visualization of IT infrastructure services in a private cloud environment. That means your IT projects are completed faster and you can react more quickly to new business opportunities.